All right, so this is part two of my educational modular board system. This one, as you can see, is pretty much just a dimmable LED. Nothing super hard here. We have power coming in from the header, and this is going to plug into the header for our power board. The power goes through a uh, trimmer pot, and then also through this 330 ohm resistor, down through here, down through the transistor, and out. The pot will control the transistor, the transistor will control the LED, and Bob's your uncle, it goes out. Here is a look at the board itself, I mean, there's nothing special there, just a couple tracks on top, a couple on the bottom, and boom. Here's an idea of what the board itself is going to look like. We have our power in header over here. The headers aren't going to look like this. Power out, potentiometer. I mean, there's really nothing to it at all. So let's get this ordered from our friends at PCBWay, and we'll put this together. Getting your boards made by PCBWay is as simple as a couple mouse clicks. Click on Instant Quote. Then click on Quick Order. Add your Gerber. Let's see, where's my, right here. The Gerber gets loaded. Sometimes it'll draw you a picture, sometimes it has trouble. Today we get a picture, good, good, good. How many do we want? Five is fine, two layers. We're making these ones red. <laughs> and for the most basic ordering, the only other thing you need to check is right here, this little check mark. Then you can simply come over here and choose your uh, shipping. It's like this here. Whoever you want your shipping from. In this case looks like USPS will be the lowest cost. And there's five boards for 15 bucks in about two weeks. The boards came in just a little over two weeks with USPS, so that's not too bad at all. Got a selection of parts ready. I'm going to go find a 3904 transistor, and we'll put this together. Okay, let's solder one of these boards up. Make sure everything works all right. We will start with the resistors. This is the 100. The purpose of the 100 ohm resistor is so that this potentiometer, even if turned all the way down, never goes to zero. The minimum it's going to go to is 100 ohms. So we've always got a little bit of resistance there, which is what we want. Adjust the camera here a little bit. I'm going here and solder these up. We are just a couple of days away from my son's 18th birthday. Can't believe it. Now, when I was his age, I was very excited. He, on the other hand, is not very excited. He's actually kind of frightened. And I understand that totally. Change is hard. And I will admit he has led a very sheltered life. Oops, pardon me. His mom and I have provided, you know, whatever he's needed whenever he's needed. And that, that includes his stepfather as well, who's a great guy. I'm just saying, the kid has never really had to do anything on his own. So when we send him off to school in the fall, it might be a, well, it might. it's, it's going to be a bit of a culture shock to him. So hopefully, hopefully he'll be okay. 
These I really hope are 3904s. They were in the drawer marked 3904, but hey, you know we can't ever trust anything until you verify it with your own eyes. And unfortunately, my own eyes are terrible, so I'm going to look at it in a camera. Come on, man, focus. Yep, there we go. And there's my view. So it is definitely a 3904. I'll we'll put her in here and go to town. This is going to be one of those that have the... Uh, The pads real close together. I don't like that. There's not too much I can do about it. I'm kind of stuck with it. So we're going to put some of Uncle Rob's Magic Flux on here to help the solder only flow where I want it to flow. Then we're going to solder this outside pin. Make sure we're sitting okay. We'll solder the other outside pin. Have a look. Looks good. And then to make things easier on myself, what I like to do is just bite off those outside pins. Now, I'm going to reflux it again from the other side get on there there we go oh well it's going to focus here let's try there you go no solder bridges all three are nicely Nicely done. Wunderbar. So next up, we will put in our LED. Chose a red one, just goes with everything. You know, the theme kind of, you know, nice and red. And I've been reading your comments. We're definitely going to do some digital logic stuff, some flip-flops. And somebody was silly enough to suggest that I put a 555 timer in. Like, I would forget to put a 555 timer in. It's like my favorite IC of all time. All right. And we'll put in our adjustable resistor there. I mean, it is a potentiometer, but we're pretty much just using it as an adjustable resistor. This guy in here all nice and straight. We'll solder them up here. And we will be just about ready to have a look see once we put our external power connection on there, right? All right, all we need to do now is solder that one in there. That didn't go very well. It's all right. We'll get her. Don't you worry, none. I should have probably put this in a like a clamp vice type deal. But not everybody has those. So I like to build these things showing you that you know anybody can do it. 
no special tools are required, right? All right, all right. Let's see what we get. So far, so good. And does the light output change? Yep, good deal. So that is our first board in the series, and there will be more. I will be following your suggestions. We'll put these together, and hopefully by the time school starts in the fall, we'll have a selection of about 10 of these we can give to the school, and everything will be great. And I couldn't do it without PCB Way. Thank you, my friends at PCB Way. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to everybody at PCB Way. And big thanks to my favorite girl, Dogly. Right, Dogly? Are you my best girl? Yes, you are.